Hello beautiful people, my name is Alexandra and today I'm going to be showing you my bullet journal for the year of 2021 and for the month of January. So the notebook I'm using is the Dodged Notebook by Moleskine. It's from the Blend collection in the color purple as you can tell. It's 240 pages and 13 by 21 centimeters. It's smaller than my usual notebooks, but I decided to get it. Anyway, moving on to pens, I'm using the Settler Pigment Liner in 0.5 and in 0.2. I did not end it up using the 0.5 during this video. And as for a simple pen to, you know, fill in my notebook, I'm using the big pen in blue, just a simple blue pen, you know. To fix any mistakes I may have made, I'm using the Pelican Blanco pen and the pencil I'm using is the weight, it's the Faber-Castell 2.5 HB pencil and of course I'm also using an eraser. The color pens I'm using are the Stabilo 0.88 in fine 0.4. I have many colors as you saw. So let's start. So I'm going to be starting with my contents table. So for the titles in each page, what I did was I counted how many columns I have in between dots. I found the middle column and then I counted how many letters my title has and the letter in the middle of the whole title was in the middle column. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I'm sorry. I'm not the best at explaining. So, to make the contents table, I drew a line from the first to the last dot horizontally, both on the top and on the bottom. And for the sides, I counted 30 bullets. As for the key table, I just followed the lines from the contents table for the sides and for the horizontal lines. And I also left a column empty in between all the contents table and the key. So my keys are very simple. Um, for dust, I'm using just the bottom dash and if I'm done with it, I take it off. If I'm not or if I'm not gonna do it, I just exit out. If I'm going to be moving the task, I'm making a bigger than symbol. I don't know what it's called exactly. And if I already have done the task, I make the opposite symbol. So now moving on to my yearly goals and my monthly planner. So for my yearly goals, I used my last year's bullet journal as an inspiration. So in my new year's bullet journal, each page is 24 by 40 and in order to fit every box in this page I had to make each box 8 by 8 bullets. Each box targets a specific area, so we have mind, body and soul, skills, better at, break habit and saving goal, time with and hobby. boxes but I don't think I'm going to be using boxes for this year. I'm going to just be doing a top and a bottom line and I'm going to be doing that with a grey pen because I want this year's theme to be black and white and grey scale because I don't want to be too harsh on myself to use colour because it ends up, I never end up actually using colour, I never end up liking it. The whole page is 24 by 40 and each box has 8 bullets. As for my bottom 3 boxes, the first one is a bigger goal that I want to achieve. The second one is a lesson I learned from 2020. And the third one is a quote that was very important for me in 2020. Was my head in the way? I'm so sorry.
and so I'm done moving on to my monthly planner I decided to do three months by each page anything more than that just looks too crowded for me and everything less than that I just end up not using so for each month I started from the second bullet of the page and I can do 22 bullets so that each day you would have three columns vertically also to make it look more clean in between each week horizontally I left one column empty this way I ended up with some empty columns actually two empty columns on the side of the page and I used this to write the name of the month so on this first page we have January, February and March yeah let's not talk about that Also, as you can see here, I left one blank column in between each month. So I have January, the line that symbolizes that this month has ended, and then one free column, and then I go in with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and yeah, I think you get it. In this page in particular, I was left with some empty space on the bottom of the page, but that doesn't happen in the next pages. So I did the exact same thing for the next two pages for the months of April to September. Also, I'm filming with daylight, so the sun comes in and out, and you can tell during some of my clips.
So this is my final page of the monthly planner and it's the month October to December. So how I'm using the monthly planner is next to each day, for example, next to 28, I will make a small bullet in a specific color. So the colors I'm using are light blue for dates, purple for university related reasons, and I'm using orange for other events that I may be doing. By other events, I mean doctor's appointments or events like a live show, which I don't think I'm going to be seeing a lot this year, but that's a different thing. Yeah. So yeah, I mark the day on my monthly planner and then I move to my important dates page and I go to the right column and I write in the date and then the reason I marked it. And now that we're finally done with the monthly planner, I'm going to be moving on to the important dates. So again, same thing for the title. I find the, the, middle, the letter in the middle. I can't talk today. I find the letter in the middle and I then continue writing the title from there. So from the important dates page, I have three columns. First one is date and it symbolizes my important dates. So like birthdays and name days and stuff like that with a light blue. Then it's the uni column, um, everything related to university is symbolized with the purple color and then other like doctor's appointments, events and stuff like that, I don't think we're going to have a lot of events this year but whatever, are symbolized with an orange color. I then made my fifth semester exams page. So for this page, I made a small planner for the month of January and February for the weeks that I will be having my exams. And I filled them from Monday to, to Sunday, like basically a regular, it's almost like a monthly planner, but it's only three weeks and it's only the days that I'm having my exams. And then I left some space down below to write in any um, classes and everything I have to do those days. Next page is my books page and I will be filling this one as I go with the books I have read in 2021. I'm planning to read at least 12 books this year, so one per month. We'll see how this goes. So next. Next is my sixth semester overview. My sixth semester hasn't started yet, but I just made the layout so I can have it ready for whenever I need to fill it in. Um, what I do is I make some columns for Monday to Friday, and then I write in classes. So, and I will be filling that with every class that I'm going to be taking this semester and on the left of the page I have the hours of the day from 9 in the morning to 9 o'clock at night when I finish my classes and I will be filling that as a timetable for my every day so I'm gonna have everything in one well two pages <laughs> and that's basically my sixth semester overview then is my first journal entry of the year. I like to make an entry for the first week of each year and how it went on my bullet journals. In general, I like journaling um, with my everyday life and like some thoughts and stuff like that. So that's what I did for this page. Finally, we're moving on to the month of January. I don't make like a planner at the start of each month, I find like, you know, the monthly 
calendar planner i mean i find that i never use it um and it just ends up taking space and it's semi filled and it just looks bad on my um on my bullet journal so i don't make it anymore so i'm going to be telling you now over how i make my um my weekly planner um so on the top left corner of the page i la i write the week that we're on and the days that we're on so whatever is it, whatever i'm writing here i can't see um and on the other end of the left of the right page i write in the month so jan january um each day is eight bullets long I mean each column for each day except for Thursday which um, where the pages meet I count this as another bullet so it's basically eight but one is invisible if that makes sense I think it makes sense and then I leave one column um, horizontally in between the days and then I start with the time on the left side of the bullet journal and I start from 7 in the morning and I finish at 6 in the morning which is the last number before my notes and in notes I write everything I have to do that day and then I go in and apply I mean fit everything into my schedule so next I've already moved on what wait then I made a video ideas and a series and movies um, pages because I find these ones are very important and I need two pages, kind of like a brain dump. And yeah, that was everything. So I had so much fun making this actually and I would love to make more. Um, so I'll try. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for watching, see you on my next video and have a great rest of your day, bye!